Hi all, this is Dennis, and you are on the Den Electro channel. Many radio amateurs are faced with the need to check the performance of diodes and diode bridges. If everything is more or less clear with diodes, then with diode bridges everything is not so simple. Now I will show a simple method for checking a diode bridge, which is useful to every master. Before checking the diode bridge, the multimeter must be set to diode test mode. If it is not there, then you can put the usual check of resistors. But it will only show a short circuit of the diodes. To check the diode bridge, you need to clearly understand how it works. It contains four diodes, and each of them can be checked. First, I'll show you how to do it on a separate diode. Each diode has two terminals, an anode and a cathode. If a positive is applied to the cathode and a negative to the anode, then the diode will be closed, and no current will flow through it. At this time, the multimeter shows nothing since the diode is closed and has a very high resistance. When I swap the probes and put the red positive probe to the anode and the black negative probe to the cathode, the diode will open and the current will flow from plus to minus. The multimeter will show the minimum voltage drop. This diode has 450 millivolts If the diode is broken, then during the test in both directions, it will show a short circuit. If the diode has a break, then in both directions, the multimeter will show an infinitely large resistance. The diode will not be tested. With one diode, everything is understood. Now you can move on to more difficult tasks. To check the diode bridge. At present, the industry produces a large number of diode bridges made in one package. The essence of all of them is the same, only the size and body changes. Each diode bridge assembly has four pins. Two are used for AC input and two for plus and minus output. Usually all conclusions are signed. The AC input is marked with a tilde and the outputs are naturally marked with plus and minus. Checking the diode bridge begins with the fact that the red probe is applied to the plus and the black probe to the minus. In this position, all diodes are closed. The current does not go anywhere and therefore the multimeter shows nothing. Then I check with respect to minus and AC inputs. The multimeter will be silent. Then I look exactly the same with respect to the plus of the AC inputs. Then I check the two AC inputs, first in one position and then in another. If the multimeter readings remain the same, then this is good. To make it more convenient to work further, the probes in the hands must be swapped. Then I put the black probe to the plus, and the red one to the minus. The multimeter will show such a large number. This is twice the voltage drop across two diodes connected in series. Rather, we are now testing not two diodes, but four. Since the diodes in this position are not only in series, but also in parallel. Here you need to understand that if one of the diodes is open, then the multimeter will show exactly the same readings. Two diodes in parallel will interfere with the test. Current will flow through them. If any of the diodes is broken, it will have zero resistance. The multimeter in this case will show the voltage drop immediately through one diode. Then I check both pins of the AC input for negative. 
On each leg, the multimeter should show the voltage drop of one diode. Then I repeat the operation in the same way, checking the AC input with respect to the plus. Here too, the multimeter shows the voltage drop across each diode. On this, the test of the diode bridge can be considered completed. All receive readings of the multimeter are normal, so each of the diodes is whole. I would also like to add that this method does not give a 100% guarantee that the diode will work. There is one nuance here. There are times when the diode looks intact when checking with a multimeter. But when the operating voltage is applied, the semiconductor breaks through and a short circuit occurs in it. Such cases are very rare, but they do happen. That's all for today. If you liked the video, please click like. Click on the bell. Write comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and bye everyone.